Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, this is this is a, like a, a really relaxed, chill stream. So uh, if you're watching this back, you can have it on in the background. It's gonna be an hour or so, just over an hour. I'm working on some stuff, um, and I'm basically just gonna be on live while I'm working on it. If I need to ask questions, I can ask questions. You can ask questions too. And um, this is more of a relaxed thing. It doesn't have any set agenda. Um, so yeah. Um, hey Jason, thank you for being here. Um, hey the chiefy, yeah. This 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 is one where you know people watching back are just gonna have it in the background because I'm 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 just working. Like I was just thinking, there's this new way that you can go live on YouTube. I thought, I'm just going to go live. I'll just continue working. Anyone can ask questions. Um, and I'll, I'll obviously get to those questions as I go. But there's a few things I'm working on here. Um, a, little, a little insight into what usually happens. Uh, in, a, in, a, like, in like a normal day. So this is very relaxed. This is going to be, you know, there's no, no real topic here. Um... So the things we're working on today are the structure for the free course for beginners that I'm making. Um, and then there's also continuing to work on the structure of the what now um, course that I'm making. So the what now course will be for mastermind members. Um, and it will be basically once your assets have gone up in value, like what what now what's the step by step what do i need to do from now um and this will include kind of like templates for emails to accountants estate planners um encrypting your data all that kind of stuff um and so that's i'm working on that as well so i'll, I'll note that down and then it's about thinking about the videos that are coming up as well and so i might need some help on that so maybe let's start on the videos. Um, so some of the videos that are coming up. Let's have a look. Oh, while I'm here. Let's see, what are people saying? How is everyone doing? Where's everyone watching from? That is um, Lion's Mane. If anyone's wondering what, what I'm actually having here. Lion's Mane's really good for focus, attention, uh, mood control. Uh, this one is NMN. Have one of those every day. Next one is Resveratrol. And then the other one is Creatine. One scoop of that a day. Everest Base Camp. Somebody's on Everest Base Camp watching this. Jeez. Um, okay. How's my morning? My morning's going pretty well. Um, I had a load of emails to do. Been working on. Um, videos on the Practical Crypto channel and the Meditation channel of all of them. Um, I recorded a video today that will go out on the Altcoin Advantage channel. 
Um, that's for beginners. That's really just for beginners. Um, uh, quote T is, I want to join your mastermind group, but I can't find the link. Um, I'm not sharing the link with that anymore. Um, the main reason being that if you go into the Discord and you actually participate in the mastermind, it's, it's just a horrible experience. So I just got an update today about the website. Oh, it's so frustrating. It's going to be another uh, two weeks until we have something live. Um, and when that does go live, the priority on the website is the mastermind. So that's being built first. Um, and so when, when that launches, I will tell everyone. Um, it's just right now, I don't want you to go into the mastermind, have a terrible experience and then not want to stay. Um, I want you, I want you to come into it the way it's supposed to be. So thank you, but, uh, hold your horses a little bit. Um, ICP versus XRP. Well, I don't think you can really compare them. They're, they're, they're completely different. Uh, Ralph Raymond, I, I, I tend to think that this Bitcoin run is is kind of over. If you if you just watch Blockchain Becker, um, he's 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 provided so much reasoning and his historical analysis about why Bitcoin's run. He doesn't think it's going to go continue to go higher. Um, you know, if it does go higher, then that's amazing because our price targets will be easily reached <laughs> for XRP. Um, if it doesn't, if it doesn't continue to go higher, it still means there's like an alt season thing about to happen. So um, I think it's pretty good. It, like regardless of what's happening, I think positive for the short for the short term. I don't know if anyone got um, my uh, newsletter today. Okay, let's get to work on this. So some of the videos that I have coming up here, I wanted to run by everyone. Um, one of them, I've been very crypto uh, community oriented since starting. I really like it uh, when people talk about other people instead of just focus on themselves. And so as a move to kind of do exactly that, one of the videos that I've got thought of here is called um, Seven Crypto YouTubers You Need to Know. So I'll be basically picking the most, um, uh, not popular, but must subscribe channels. And so uh, I, I think people will be interested in that one, but you have to let me know. Um, there's another one, and these are on these are altcoin advantage channel videos because the main channel videos are just me talking at length, right? So um, the other one is how to use ChatGPT to find a hundred x altcoins step by step. So that would be like a system to follow. Um, thank you, Motto. Um, I think one that would be a really really scandalous one is. Uh, a title of why I, I, the number's going to change, but why I sold 15% of my portfolio already. There's a little nugget for you. That was in the workshop. I didn't really, I haven't talked about that in public really. Um, 21 altcoins you should never waste your money on. Uh, if I started from scratch in crypto again, I'd do this. Then we have a meetup vlog that's going to happen in London. We're going to meet up at the Uphold offices as a community. Um, and then we've got one really big video that we haven't really got cleared yet, but um, I'm not sure I can say that yet. But Right, so I'm, there was a video I wanted to put out tomorrow. 
and the title is, you'll have to let me know that this is actually, if you like this idea, let me get it. It was something along the lines of how to take profit on crypto without selling. So I've really got to kind of formulate that video and I'll, I'll kind of try to do that on here as well. Because it's a good little micro system. What, 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 she, what do you call it? Yeah, it's like a, I can ask you questions that I want to cover in that video and you can say yes or no. Um, Grace, why have Uphold stopped paying XRP and reduced payout to 1%? I think it's because so many people were doing it. <laughs> um, you know, it's, uh, it was a great feature and I just think people, people were trying to do it and, uh, doing it too much. And it's, it's much like, you know, and I said this to Simon, uh, McLaughlin, the CEO of Uphold, I said, yeah, it was I was at one point because he he this had already he'd already reduced the payout, and I said, "Oh yeah, I can see why you've done that because I was literally paying my mortgage out of my uphold, getting paid into my uphold and paying my mortgage out of my uphold, um, so that I could get the maximum four <laughs> percent uh, payout in XRP." Um, and he was like, "Yeah, well, basically everyone was doing that, so they had to just reduce it." So I think it's I think it's pretty fair. <laughs> I think it's fair for him, for him to have done that. So I've got the structure. There's like a it's like an eight part structure for this free workshop that is going to go out in March. It's not necessarily for you, but I want you to kind of think about how you were and in your understanding of crypto when you just began. I've been trying to do the same for me. Be great for you to do um, the same as well. Uh, oh, great to hear, Motto. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Um, and so what we're getting into, the, the whole point of this beginner's one is to explain the elementary parts of what it is in the first place, um, what crypto and blockchain is in the first place. But then also, I, I do want to have an opinion in it rather than everything being kind of set in stone because I know that a lot of people are concerned about CBDCs. So the journey is, how do I bring someone who knows absolutely nothing about crypto through to actually being able to explain CBDCs? Not just explain CBDCs, but also blockchain, crypto, altcoins, Bitcoin, um, specific tokens like XRP, like being able to explain those things and uh, vocalize those things with family and friends as a beginner is really, really important because if you understand what CBDCs are and what they aren't, you're also able to then form an opinion on CBDCs and it stops you uh, making, it stops you making all the mistakes that you would have typically made just because you've got a little bit of information. Like I said in the video, no, I didn't, I didn't release this video yet. That's gonna be on the 20th. Yeah, there's a video in five days about this topic, um, but it's basically saying people with information typically win. And there was a whole scientific study and experiment that happened in Russia um, that, that basically showed if you've got information, you're so much more likely to win. And so that is why teaching people about CBDCs, what they are and what they aren't and what they could potentially be positive and negative gives people information, which means they're not going to be pushed around by the government. They, they will know what is happening. I think that's just really important. So we have eight chapters in this free course. Um, if you if you do want to be like 
involved in the free course and you want to you want to take part in it if you're watching this as a complete beginner i urge you this is complete beginner stuff um put down in the comments try and put it in the comments of the video rather than the live chat now do the live chat and we'll just look, we'll have to look through um but type something like uh free course in the in the chat or in the comments and then we'll i'll reach back out to you and give you information or uh someone else will in the team uh yes Knowledge is power. It absolutely is. Hello, Michael. So we've got chapter one, which is the foundation. That is, what is blockchain? Um, why blockchain is a revolution. So these are two different videos. Ultimately, by the end of this, it's going to be about 16 videos in the free course. Uh, there'll be more. It'll be more like 20. Um, but what is blockchain will be one. Why blockchain is a revolution. Then we're going to get into decoding cryptocurrency terms. There's going to be a, a glossary, a jargon glossary that I can provide, mate. Um, what did I say? Did I say provide mate? I think it's because I, I read Rusty's <laughs> meta, uh, message and I said mate. I never say mate. Um, and then we've got, so yeah, there'll be a jargon glossary. We'll go over that. Blockchain lingo made very, very easy. Um, analyzing crypto investments, so actually how to how to look at a chart and how to research even. You could, we could go very difficult, uh, very far into that. Um, tools and frameworks for crypto research, so actually providing you step-by-step -step ways to actually uh, research and all of that. What are CBDCs? And then another video about CBDCs and how the privacy and financial implications of those as well. I never say mate, and I, I said mate. For, <laughs> it's funny at that. And I, I caught it afterwards. I was like, what? Um, then we've got recognizing crypto scams, um, best practices for security, how to choose an exchange, how to actually go step by step on buying and doing different things, uh, crypto on, uh, on an exchange. Then we've got explaining blockchain to others and sharing your own crypto knowledge and being able to put that all into a very nice... Uh, in, in, into a very nice, succinct way that you can communicate as a beginner, which I think is really powerful. Um, and then look, there's kind of PDF guides and checklists and infographics for all of these things as well. So um, I see loads of you are actually interested in that. So thanks for typing in free course. I, I, I want to stress it really is very beginner elementary, but it is free as well. So <laughs> I guess I guess there's that you can just take it. Uh, James said, in the Lewis, in the Lewis letter, the Lewis letter, uh, you say the SEC case could extend to 2026. Does that mean price stays at 55 cents? Um, not necessarily. Um, it might not even go to 2026. That if you, I don't know if you listened to the Lewis letter, my audio version, but basically the SEC are controlling how long it happens. Uh, there was evidence that they could push that all the way back to 2026. Who knows? No one knows. It could end tomorrow. Um, I just think there's bigger, better things to focus on. And I don't think the court case necessarily impacts the price of XRP that much. Um, there is some limitation to it um, from the institutional adoption, but from the retail FOMO speculation bull run side of things, the, the court case doesn't mean anything. Um, What is the chance of a major company buying up Ripple? I mean, it can happen. It could happen, but remember, Ripple is a major company, so um, there's that. Like, it really is a big company. What what you'll get is see you you look you watch what you're watching in real time now is Ripple buying companies. It's not the other way around. Okay, so that's the the free workshop. I've really got to start. Um, that's the next thing I'm recording. So it's about building out everything that needs to be talked about in that air, in that, uh, so that like the, what is blockchain part is really easy, I think, because that's just, uh, I've got a really nice way of explaining blockchain. Am I able to put, um, 
wondering if I'm able to put on Uh, and then we might as well get into the other the other workshop that I'm working on um, which is wait, is that the curriculum yeah so there's a there's a course I'm working on from within the for within the mastermind it will be available for sale to people not in the mastermind but it will be, you know, if you're in the mastermind, it's free. Um, and this is a really, really big one because this one it, it is, it's the most amount of effort you have to put in to, to that I've had to put in to make something happen. Um, hey, Pedro. Um, I know Burgess Hill. I like to play golf in Burgess Hill. Um, what's the Discord channel? I don't have any Discord channels that I'm, uh, that I'm linking people to right now. Um, when the, when the website's done, it will all be pointing there. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so to give you an idea of this uh, system that I'm building for new wealth, I might call it the new wealth system. That's a good name. I'm going to call it the new wealth system. Okay, so in the new wealth system, um, this is, so if you imagine, what I'm trying to cover is all the bases. So, so bear with me. So all the bases are, in my opinion, absolute beginners. So bringing absolute beginners into the fold, uh, being that educational realm for people to come in and uh, and learn about crypto and what it means and what it how it can change their their lives negatively and positively um, then you've got the exit strategy workshop in the middle for people who they've now been introduced to crypto they understand and now i don't know when to sell so here's you know you go and create your exit strategy and then once the profits have been taken and you're now looking what do i do with that money that's where this comes in. So you've got the, uh, you've got, you know, the whole journey of someone is what my company's trying to do now. Um, and, you know, I think it's been a bit of a, it, you know, th these live streams are for me to talk completely honestly, by the way. So, um, you know, this, uh, this is all unscripted, but I think there's been a bit of a, maybe like a shock, a realization, like a morning feeling um, that this, that what I'm doing is actually building a business, you know, um, and, and in order for a business to function, you just have to make some money. Um, and so I think a lot of people are, get, uh, you know, sad about that because uh, maybe I'm not just the guy making videos in my basement anymore. Um, but what has happened is, is that I've provided value and I've started to build a business I've always wanted to build. And I've got the opportunity to do that. But I think what people can confuse is they think um, I'm trying to make money just so I can, um, just so I can make money. But actually, I'm trying to grow a business and businesses need money. <laughs> Um, and they think also, and this is the big thing, they think that you, I'm doing that without providing anything in return. You know, I'm just taking money. No, 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 no. I think I'm more, 
I'm offering more value right now than I ever have. So, um, you know, with this exit strategy workshop, um, you know, yes, yes, I'm charging money for that, but it's also really valuable. <laughs> so, you know, it's a business. I can't just take money. I have to, people will only uh, give money or pay money if there is value on the other side. So I'm providing value on the other side. And, and just like the comments that I've seen on this, the workshop is worth way more than what you actually pay. So, um, so I'm building a business here. I'm loving every second of it. This is, this is, this is like my 15th business that I've ever made. I've been trying to do this for 15 years. Um, I now have the opportunity to do it and I'm not letting a few people uh, who are negative talk me out of it. This is some good questions. Um, thank you, Motto, for your support. King Sang, uh, this is correct. Is it correct that to use the AMM, we'll have to sell half of the XRP that we put in and generate the yield? So I'm unsure right now whether it's a selling mechanism or a delegation mechanism. My, I thought it was, you have your assets in a cold storage wallet, you can delegate them um, and maybe they're locked away, but they're only delegated and you can uh, get those get that yield for providing those that liquidity, delegated liquidity. Uh, Max, so if you show us how to take profit without selling our crypto, does that mean we won't have to pay capital gains? Uh, capital gains is coming for everyone, <laughs> regardless. Um, uh, I have a few ideas about that video, like how to sell without, how to take profit without selling, but I need to put more thought into it and I need to research a bit more. So it's not ready just yet. I'm working on it. There's tax events all over the place. I'll tell you one thing that's really interesting and take this and go and do some research on it. I found out today that Paraguay, the country, is 0% tax on foreign money. So you can live in Paraguay, take your income from your country, and it's 0% tax. Um, but if you switched your business to Paraguay and you lived in Paraguay, it's only 10% tax. Maximum tax bracket is 10%. Whereas here it's 53%. So I know people say go to Dubai and UAE. I get it. It's just not for me. Um, I don't think it's for me anyway. Um, but what is more aligned to me um, is that uh, my family, my nuclear family here, uh, are Spanish speaking, right? My wife is from Nicaragua. So moving to Dubai is further away from where she's from and there's no language. Uh, the, it's just English, right? Um, if we move to Cayman Islands, which is 0% tax, um, there's a 40% tax rate, 43%, uh, Adam. But capital gains tax can be 20%, yeah, um, at, the, at a certain level, but the maximum. Um, and so Cayman Islands is interesting because Cayman Islands is right next to the Caribbean, kind of close to, well, it is in the Caribbean, but it's next to Central America, which is where my wife is from. So it'd be closer to her home if we were there. And it's a more Caribbean lifestyle, so I would prefer that over Dubai. Um, but then the, the level up from that really is 0% tax, nice warm weather like in Paraguay, because right next to uh, Brazil, and it's Spanish speaking. So all of a sudden, um, you know, we're in a Spanish speaking place with all the benefits of, of that to my wife and familiarity with the language. And it's also, you know, it's a nice place and uh, yes, I do have a spicy mama. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, can you say my name? Arijan? Lissis, Lissis, Li, Lissis, Lissica. Oh my goodness, I really struggled with that. Um, yeah, there's lots of place, lots of places in, in the Caribbean that are quite interesting. Anyway, let me get into this uh, new wealth system. Um, step number one is the natural natural thing that you try to do if you've just come into some money. You, you try to figure out who am I telling and who am I not telling, right? So step number one, and this really is supposed to be a step-by-step -step process. So it's chronological in step-by-step. -step. It's not like, oh, you can do this and you could do that and you could do this. This is like, follow this step. Um, so Dominican Republic though, I've been there. It's really nice in the resorts, but then when you get outside the resorts, it gets a little bit, I know, it's, it's a little bit, it's a bit like Jamaica. Jamaica's really nice. But when you remove the, the resort side, it gets a little bit dangerous. And I've been to loads of dangerous places. It's just, um, you know, it's fine to visit these places, but uh, living is, is a whole different topic. Um, So the first step of the process is staying quiet about your windfall. So this is how to keep the, the news private and don't get unwanted attention. Um, how to manage relationships so you don't get like people wanting money from you. So they have like these uh, financial requests from family and friends. Um, and you'll get templates on how to text these people to tell them. Um, you'll have a template for an NDA to keep people quiet. Um, I don't know why you'd want to use that because you just wouldn't tell anyone in the first place. Um, but then there's also moving on from that. Step number two is assembling your team of professionals. Now, obviously, if you're in the mastermind, that team of professionals is way better um, because they, these people are vetted. But you can go out and find your own professionals yourself. Um, and so you'll get you'll get like a LinkedIn DM template, an email template. Um, a text template that you can use for all of these professionals. So you get financial advisors, tax attorneys, estate planners, accountants, lawyers, and you'll have, you'll just have the ability to copy and paste the parts of the system and just fill in the blanks. Very important. Then number three is about uh, settling any outstanding debts if debt is something you want to remove. So I would say the only debt to really kind of remove if you're going to is probably just um, any of these weird credit card debts or your mortgage. That's that's kind of on my list of to do's. But I also want to balance that with the idea of like, you don't you the rich people use, they use debt to, to get very, very rich. So you don't want to settle all your debts, because actually, that puts you in a worse position. Um, you you want to you want to take on debt, but you want to do it to create uh, yield generating assets. Um, and then we're establishing an emergency fund, um, defining your financial goals, uh, looking at assets to invest in from that point and where to go and what to do, looking at insurance and what you might need for insurance, planning for your taxes, estate planning, maintaining a budget. Um, putting money towards educating yourself or continuing to educate yourself, um, enjoying wealth, and then kind of reassessing the plan. So that is a whole step-by-step -step process on what we do um, when when the prices do go up and, and we have taken profits. Not just when the prices go up, the prices have to go up, then you have to action on those, and then what do you do? That's what this is for. Um, yes, that's right, Ahmed. It's uh, good debt versus bad debt. Um, RTF, no, RT full pull. It will be, it's all recorded, so you'll just be able to watch it back. Um, King Sa Kin Sang, um, I do, I do see um, banks offering some sort of AMM. You can be involved in the AMM. I think the way it will look is you'll, it will probably be an AMM 
where it's a CBDC run AMM. So you put in your CBDC, basically money from your bank account as like an investment product at, that, at the uh, bank. And it will generate a yield because you're basically providing liquidity to the bank. Um, how that looks in terms of like XRP, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. There's lots of AMMs that work on, on Ethereum and the, the big banks seem to like Ethereum. So I don't know. I don't know how that looks for XRP. Um, but I do know there will be big entities that have AMMs held on the XRPL. Hi, Caitlin. Um, so I think just just by way of thumbs up, is the how to take profits on crypto without selling? Is that a go? Shall I make that video next? If we can put thumbs up for that, I'll, I will start working on that video. Hi, Tony. Thank you, quote tease. Thank you very much. Thumbs ups. You know, Andorra is a good, Andorra is interesting. Um, the problem is I, I lived in Andorra for a while and um, Andorra is really nice for a, a ski holiday or for the summer. But living through the winter there, I, th I just feel like that's a nightmare. I wouldn't want to do a 10%. Um, I wouldn't want to do 10% tax in a place like that. Um, no, no goal for me today. Caitlin, we're just chilling. We're just talking about upcoming videos and upcoming uh, courses and workshops and just trying to build it. You know, at, at some point soon, I'm going to get a, um, a studio. And in the studio, this is going to be quite an interesting experiment, but in that studio, I'm going to be live streaming the studio the whole time. So I don't think anyone in crypto has done that kind of thing, that kind of like, just like access and you can see how it operates and how my business works and you can be there for my conversations with anyone, you know, I think that's really, I think it's really interesting. Um, so I'm going to be doing that in my studio when I get one. What do you think? What, what do you think about that? Um, Caitlin, my day is going really well. Um, I've had a fantastic week. The, the workshop, the workshop was incredible. W was anyone in the workshop I in here? And let, let me know what you thought about it. Just actually, I'm not going to say anything. You, you. You say it. Um, quote tease. How can I book a one-on-one -on -one consultation? Don't, I don't do that anymore. Um, there are reasons. There's reasons for that. I, I, I only offer the consultation uh, thing now for the people looking for high net worth uh, services. Um, I found that there were so many re repeating questions that I was getting in the consultations that... Um, I just thought I'm just going to give that information for free on the YouTube videos. And one thing I don't really need to talk about on the YouTube channel is the high net worth side of things because people aren't high net worth individuals. They're like, you know, it's a 0.01% chance that you're a high net worth individual. So um, I offer that on the back end, but it's a very high ticket hourly rate, very, very high ticket, but it only reflects the nature of the people that I'm talking to, right? Um, so I try to answer as many of those questions that typically would have been on the consultations in, in the videos. Um, Ian Wilson, what's my handicap? It's uh, plus one. Actually, no, it's not plus one. It's not plus one. I'm a professional golfer. I turned pro this year. <laughs> I don't have a handicap anymore. Um, I don't have a favorite pet. I had I grew up with German shepherds because my dad was uh, had police dogs. Uh, so I I say that I like German shepherds. Um, VLM Mini or VL Mini. Um, 
if you can if you can get knowledge of coding and specifically learn how to how to code on a blockchain the opportunities are going to be wild for you wild i will say that much if you're if, if you just turned 18 teach yourself coding but build stuff on blockchains um you've also got a unique little opportunity here if you build something cool Tell me about it on the XRPL. You have to, it has to be on the XRPL. If it's on Ethereum, I can't back, I can't back you. <laughs> if you build something cool and it's on the XRPL, show me. Um, you've, you've got my ear. I'll say that much. So thank you very much. Um, and, and go and do that. That's a great idea. Emma was in there. I saw your comments, Emma. Thank you very much. She said the workshop was eye-opening and gave a solid plan. Great workshop. Thank you very, very much. Um, I haven't played golf in Cayman, no. Hi, Iris. Um, my name's Lewis. I talk about crypto and blockchain and a lot about XRP, but I try to come at things with in a very logical and sensical manner. So, you know, where there's a lot of hype and ups and downs and distractions and stuff, I try to make things as simple as possible. So, um, and conceptual as well. I'm not like very technically minded. I'm not like amazing at any one thing in crypto, but generally I've got a good view of how to how to read things that are happening. And then also I think the big benefit of this channel is me explaining it as well. I can I can explain things. Um, Kin Sang, will your exit strategy work for every country? Absolutely every country. Yes, it will. Um, I'm doing very well, Iris. Thank you very much. Absolutely subscribe. Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> um, Caroline Shaw, what is the best? What is the best wallet? Well, Caitlin, I like to say people's names because they're real people. Like I want to say the the name of the person. Um, what is the best wallet? Well, if you're on an exchange type environment, I would say Uphold. If you're on a cold, if you're talking about cold storage wallets, I would say Ledger. I just go. That's that's how I've gone anyway. If you're ever in Merseyside region, I'll get around with you at Wallasey Golf Club. I would love to play Wallasey again. Um, have you heard about the upcoming Netflix documentary about Ripple and XRP? It's not on Netflix. They're trying to get it on Netflix. It's not on Netflix. It's not guaranteed. That's fake news. Um, but I do know a little something about that. In other news, I'm going to LA in a few days to film for something. I wonder what that is. Um, Come to Northern Ireland. Uh, yes, I think I played Royal County Down. No, what did I, what course did I play? I was there the other, a few months ago. Where did I play? Where did I play? Sorry, I can't remember where I played. Take your skin off. Um, okay. Do I watch Matilda? Sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. Um, that's a very niche quote that I've just given there. Oh, thank you for being a new subscriber. Thank you very much. Uh... Oh my goodness. Fred Couples. Love Fred Couples. I, I, I had a, a glove in my bag from Fred Couples. Um, I don't know what LCX is. Um, VeChain popped off today, didn't it? Zali, you're going to have to put your own qu your question there again. I, I can't. I can't see it. Um, I'm getting distracted. So everyone put thumbs up for that video idea. That's good to know. Let's get back into some more video ideas. So... 
how to take profit. without selling. I'm out of trust wallet, Zaman. So out of trust wallet and, and Zaman or Zum, uh, I would choose Zum or Zaman. Um, and out of the cold storages, I would just choose um, uh, Ledger. So I've saved a whole load of video titles here. Um, and I'm going to, I want to say them and I want to get an idea of if whether you think that's a good idea. Um, hmm. How to know when to take profits in crypto. Is that a thumbs up or a thumbs down? How to know when to take profits in crypto. Because the problem is I, I will make that video, but ultimately the actual how to do it is all in the, is all in the workshop. You know, so I can talk around the topic. Uh, yes, Iris, what's the question? Oh, thank you. Thank you for being a fan now. Let's see, how many thumbs up are we going to get? Okay, that's quite a lot of thumbs up. Hmm. Okay. Right, so I've done that video. Um, how to know when to take profits. Yeah, lots of thumbs up there. So I will try and go into as much of detail as I can about that in that video. But I hope everyone understands, like, there's the... Uh... Oh, I guess maybe I can. Because I could go through... I could go through everything that the workshop covers... Um, but obviously you can't get the level of detail and, and guidance and step-by-step -step as you would in the workshop. Hmm. I need to think about how to do that in a, in a way that doesn't sound, um, like salesy. Um, okay, let's see some other ones. Stephen's making a big trip over to England from Australia. It's a big trip. Hi, hi, Lena. Thanks. <laughs> um, Victor, this this stream is just talking. I'm just talking. There's not not like prop. There's not like a thing that we're talking about today. Just talking. How would I diversify a bag in percentage of XRP, HBAR, ALGO, and XDC? Um, hmm. That's an interesting one. So the way I have it, the way I have it right now is I have 70% of my whole portfolio is XRP. The rest is 30% of my portfolio, and I'm happy to take complete profits on all of that 30%. Um, and so I would just divide the rest up like that equally. I would probably wait a little bit more on XDC than the others, but that's just me. Uh, in your exit strategy workshop, you mentioned AMM, which I've forgotten what it means. It's an automated market maker, meaning you can put money into it, provide liquidity, provide cash so it can function and you get paid like a yield based on how much you contribute. Um, but thank you for taking the exit strategy workshop. 
I sent, I, I want to show my email that I sent out today. Where is it? Um, what am I typing? Uh, English is my main language, yeah. Uh, Jeff Thacker, the Exit Strategy Workshop is really good. Um, Alberto, I think Render, the crypto, has got lots of potential. Um, uh, Max, so the meetup, hmm. the meetup was supposed to be just for Mastermind members. Um, and I think I, I think I have to do that because it will control numbers. Um, if I opened that up to the wider community, there would there would be hun like a hundred people there, and I'm not sure we can do that. Um, thank you, Keltarusu. <laughs> Iris got my quote. She got it. Um, I want to show you the, oh no, I might not be able to log in here. Oh no, I can. I want to show you the email that I sent out today for the newsletter. Ah, okay, that's another one, Ahmed, you've just said. Do I need to do a video on Stronghold, SHX? Thumbs up if I need to do a video on that. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that I, have, I really haven't dived much into it. I know Zach uh, Rector was starting to look into it. Um, yeah, it's just not been, not been something I've... Okay, where, where is this email that I sent? All right, so what was I coming here for? I was coming here to show you. Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, you've gone to my ceiling. Okay, I gotta take you off. Um, so in the email, Basically, I put down just a few of the comments that I got from the workshop. I'm just saying it's, I think it's quite valuable, so I'm going to switch it around. These were the comments that people were giving within the chat on the... Uh... Oh, Iris, don't go. Okay, bye. Um, people just say, saying, you know, it's a very, it's a really good tool. It's worth much more than was charged, it was very good, it was very good, it was very good. Um, and this, th these were just like the initial reactions. There's also like the the reviews that are happening on the on the platform itself that will, that will come in once people have made their plans and stuff. But I think it's really, really good. Um, so the reason I'm in vertical is because YouTube are are testing out a feature where you can go live in vertical, and as you're scrolling through shorts, live streams can come in there. So uh, that's why I'm vertical right now. Um, and as you'll notice, there's loads of people coming in here that are like new. new. So uh, it's a great way to get people in. Um, okay. So we've got three videos that are, I basically need to work on now. We've got how to take profit without selling, how to know when to take profits in crypto, 
and a video on Stronghold SHX. If you love all three ideas, all three of those, hit like so we can get to about 150 likes. Um, subscribe as well if you want to see those videos. You'll have to also turn the notifications on so you get notified when they come out. Um, and and let, let me know in the, in the chat here that you're like, put the number three if you like all three. Two. Nature Lover likes six of the three ideas. That's incredible. <laughs> okay, so everyone likes th all three of those. Nature Seven ideas that Nature Lover loves. Eight. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I get the idea that those three videos are quite good ideas. Stephen doesn't like any of them. Um, okay, so just to do another... Hey, you know what I could have been doing? It would be a lot easier to start a poll. So, um, okay, answer that question in the poll that I'm just putting out there. James Wellam has just become a yellow member. Thank you very much. Okay, the votes are coming in. I thought it was an interesting concept that I've never seen anyone do. So the idea of me live streaming, like the, the moment I get into my studio to start live streaming, you'll, you'll literally see me in my meetings, recording my videos, talking with the team. <laughs> like you'll literally see all of it. Um, I might have to mute sometimes because sometimes there's contracts and stuff. Um, but I think that'd be a, a really cool... Um, a really cool thing to do. I won't, there's, there's no toilet cam, no. Okay, so 60-40. Interesting. So I'm going to end that poll. Let's do another poll. Um... Okay. Okay, here's another, here's another poll for you to be doing. Um, Dan, no, the, 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 the documentary is not fake news, but everyone saying it's a Netflix documentary is not true. Um, because that hasn't been confirmed. They would like it to be on Netflix, but it's not for certain on Netflix. But it is happening. The documentary is happening. I know it for a fact. Okay, so it's pretty clear that I should stream that on YouTube. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm ending that. Well, these polls are, these polls are good. Okay. Fernando Maldonado. Giving real content. Huh, thanks. Somebody said my face is like Neil, was it? Neil Nitin. Mukesh. <laughs> really? Um, I can't confirm 
that I know the exact date about the documentary release, but it will be in the summer. So apparently I look like this person. You ready? Agree or disagree? I wish. Okay. Um, Akil, of course you can sub. Subscribe to this channel. We're only on 103 likes for this stream, by the way. Let's get that to 150, please. Yeah, that doesn't look like me. That would be nice. But no. The only thing we have similar is that we're humans. <laughs> um, all right. So about, about XRP today, let's have a look at XRP. We, we should have maybe done this a little bit earlier because I've got to go in a second. XRP is moving along nicely. Uh, I'll talk about a trade that I made. Um, so let's turn this thing around. Uh, so here's the XRP chart. It's obviously raising up quite nicely. This is the four hour chart. Um, I started a trade here. I opened a long there. And you can see that it it was profitable. I was $2,000 up at this point. And I was $2,000, no, $3,000 down at this point. <laughs> so I've held on, I've held on, I've held on. It's breached out. Um, the price came up to about here and I sold. Um, and that was $1,000 profit right there. Um, the price has since gone up, which is annoying. Um, but you'll see I've got an, a long order open at this blue line. So I'm going to set an, I've got a buy order right in here. If we turn these resistances into support, then I go along again right here. Um, so this is all gambling. It's all gambling. Um, and therefore, it's not part of my portfolio. It's purely, purely gambling. So, um, well, look, the question, do you think XRP is going to take a dip before shooting up? Let's put it this way. Basically all the time, basically all the time, the price comes back down. Um, and so there's a very rare occasion where the price doesn't come back down. So that's my, I really hope, you know, I got a bit of FOMO when I sold here and I saw the price going a bit further up. I was like, no, but if I give this a few days, there's a, there's a high likelihood it comes back down to here. Um, and then hopefully we're off again. Um, so this is on BitGet. The, the platform is on BitGet. It's the one I use for all my trading. Um, I can I can try and put the link in the in the thing here. One second. If you want if you want it. Um, BitGet. Let's see the stream. Where's the stream chat? There it is. Here you go. There's the BitGet link. Wow, the comments are crazy. Oh no, maybe it's not. Can you see that link? Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about the graphs too much. That's just me messing around. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, don't worry about that. Fifty-two cents. You think it'll come back down to 52? Yeah, I mean, could do. Could do. When banks start to deem XRP a valuable asset where they will collateralize our XRP, by then what price will XRP be at in your opinion? Im impossible to know. There's already a bank in Sweden Literally, there's a bank in Sweden that can collateralize your XRP already. So it's not a high price for them to do that. 
Uh, yes, SJ, there is uh, leverage on BitGet, yeah. Hey, Katie. Uh, Bill, I am a golfer, yeah. I haven't played so much recently because I've been so busy, but um, I actually, uh, I turned pro. I'm a professional golfer, and I turned pro, and I, I was supposed to start a professional golf tour this year. Um, but the way things are turning out, I had some events in Dubai in March, uh, tour events in, in Dubai. It just has turned out that I can't go. Um, I can't go. Uh, Ian, I think I can't afford not to be in the workshop. Your words, I, I, I match the sentiment. I, be, I believe that too about the workshop. Um, if anyone, if anyone wants to know exactly how to create a plan and exit crypto in profit, the, the link to the workshop is below. It's so valuable. Because I'm telling you, when prices go up, if your mentality is, I'll see how it goes at the I'll see how it goes later, I'll see how I feel later on, you're gonna get you're gonna get wrecked. you you you'll lose out on thousands of dollars. So, you know, the hundred and forty seven pounds that I've priced this this workshop at. The, the idea behind the workshop is me saying it's a hundred. I, I, I want to price it at a point where I know people are going to get 10x returns on that. So saving 10x, I think it will save people at least 10x the 147 pounds that it is. Thanks. Uh, thanks for coming. Thank you very, very much. I'll work on those videos. I just got to get to it. But yes, XRP, the whole the whole thing's looking good right now. Um, Cardano's gone up a nice amount. Let's see what the biggest mover is today. So API 3, up 30% today. V Chain's up 30%. Uh, STX, which people that keep mentioning, is up 10%. These are good days for crypto. Good days for crypto. Um, CO, in this bull run, do you see $5 at least? In my opinion, we get to anywhere between 7 and 11 if we're purely based on speculation. In my opinion. But... My exit strategy for the rest of my crypto doesn't rely on those price points because I'm taking profits along the way according to my my calculator that I made in the workshop. Link in the description. <laughs> okay, that's enough plugging. Um, yeah, you know, you know what? This is going to be really weird to show you, but I'm talking about an Under Armour sponsorship for my golf. Have a look at this. I'm going to take you up to my uh, my golf closet. <laughs> so as it stands right now, my house is under construction, so I don't have wardrobes or anything. So it's not like I'm I'm living like some crazy guy with just clothes out. Have a look at my collection of my my Under Armour outfits for the season. Uh, okay, let's turn this around. So you, this is an unexpected turn you didn't expect to take. We've got uh, these nice pullovers, Under Armour. Nice T-shirt. Another nice T-shirt. More nice T-shirts. More nice T-shirts. More nice T-shirts. Um, I've got three pairs of Under Armour trousers. That's not Under Armour. Another one like that. And then I've got three three of those kind of fleecy ones. And all the hats and all the belts and all the shoes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my my golf, my sponsorship, my Under Armour golf sponsorship that I've been working on. I've got the wardrobe for it. Yeah, I know lip, I know lip hook. All right, I, I've actually got to go and collect my daughter from uh, from nursery right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. It was a nice sixty minute stream. I look forward to making those videos. The three videos we're gonna make are how to take profit without selling, 
how to know when to take profits in crypto, a video on Stronghold SHX. Um, we also have the free workshop that we're working on. If you're interested in the free workshop and you're a complete beginner, type free course in, in the comments. We're also working on the new wealth process system as well. And uh, yeah, a load of new videos that are coming on the Altcoin Advantage channel, the Practical Crypto channel, and the Inner Calm Investing channel, which is a meditation channel for money and wealth and stuff. Um, lots happening, but we'll do this again when I get the studio. We'll be streaming basically all day, every day, um, which I think will be an interesting way to do to do things. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks for supporting the videos and watching. Stay emotionless. I'll see you in the